Yeah, my name is Samson Sakala, and I'm here with my friend Keith Kavaso. Uh, initially, I didn't know Keith Kavaso, no uh, name Samson Sakala. Yes, we are here under the, uh, the Seas of Hope, under the Bows and Filter Factory, where we make filters and, uh, and, and sieve sand, and uh, also uh, prepare just some filters that we go out, out for installations. So, Tripanopa Seeds of Hope, Ku uh, Bows and Filter, Ako Tipanga, Ama Filters, Erstuala Mumushi, Muku Vika. So, I have a few demonstrations here on just how, to, how we make the filters. Ninkwata, if in Fimofio, Defok Milanga, Kofo, Tupanga, two of your Pangrama filters. So we, we, we have the, the stones, we call them the gravels. Not quite a mawe, I ought to talk about the gravel. And these gravels are 12 millimeters. Ero, I am mawe, ma 12 millimeters. And we have another set of gravel here. Not quite a room, you but you are mawe. It's just about 6 millimeters. Ah, Nayena. To yet talk about my six millimeters. And then we have the river sand. I don't know how much sand off my camera. And also we have the cement. Na kabi na tukwata na cement. So the three of these things mixed up. Hello, if you find two four, fill a sand can you show? And then then when we mix these things up, we make uh, the filters. These are some of the things that goes into the filter production. If you find two filter two, if you to to sand can you pack panga filter. Right, so now. Hello, Kaviri. We have the tube here that goes right inside the filter. And not to quarter and a car pipe, a car, a mukati, a filter. So basically, these are the things that we use to make the filter. So when we go in there, we, we, sh we just want to show how we, how we make the filters and, how, and, and the modes that we use to make them. Number if you have to film more effort to bomb fear for Pakupanga filter. Right, so inside the factory now we have the modes that we use to make the, the, the filters. So now on the on part of the modes we have Hello number Munam Katimu Motu Pangrama filters, not quite uh if you come bola. Effort to bomb fear pangrama filters. Number if you come bola if you not quite a coffee more if you are We have the the the, the the flant lead, the flant lead of the mo of, of, of the mod. Not yeah. quite a each a pantanchi, but we have the outer mod here. Uh, we also have the inside mod. So what we what we do is that we, we assemble these things. Uh, number if I touch any to the things, number, effort to stand if to the colong and ka fiance if you this one comes like this. Ichi, chi sa muliyo msango. And 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 the flat lid goes up like that. Ero, nesha panta nchi ne chi sa muliyo msango. And we have the bolts and nuts. Ero tu akwa ta nefia kaki lako. That we 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 use to 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 just to just uh, put these things together. Ero fio tu wonfia paku wike fintu pamo. Then after that we have this power here. Hello, pan my ifio to the quarter if in two fifty upper. This power has all the three things that we talked about the stones, the river sand, the, the two types of the stones and the river sand. So, oyo you move on go, Ula quarter, yon say, shon somebody she statue, as to a stand up or Pacuvala. What is only remaining here is the cement because we are not making it, that's why we haven't put the cement here. Number, if you share the coffee, ni cement. So what we do is we, we mix these things up with cement. And then add water on it. And then when we make that power, we, we have the vibrator. The vibrator helps us shake the molds, the mortar inside the mold. Vibrator, ila tuwa furisha kwa kusunkanya ichiko mbola. So that all the concrete settles nice and also to get rid of the bubbles. Ichika kwe bati, yonse umuelo uka, uyu shala mumu kati umu, noku, noku, noku bo kwe bati, uh, cementi na fiyonse fifi wa tubikira mumu kati fiyo wela wino, saa na panishi. So this is how we put the vibrator. Number, ifi, efi wa tubika i vibrator. 
we have with like that. This is how the vibrator if got he, stuck to the mod. If he ever to be a vibrator, could come bola. So we have the the cord here. Not that goes straight to the to the power to the power there. Then we connect it like that and then switch the light, so the, 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 the switch on. And then it begins shaking up the mode. So after that, we let it settle overnight. The next day in the morning, we turn the modes upside down. So we have the extractors. And then, this is how we do it. And then when we turn the mode upside down, it's like this has a nut right on top of it. So we put the structure right on the extractor right on top of this. And, and then this this inner mode will, 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 will get out of the of, of the future. And after doing that, we we'll remove all the bolts from the outer mode. And what comes out looks like this. And this is the bow sand filter. Just out of this power of stones and sand here comes something that looks like this. And then we put water into it just to, to make sure that it's not leaking. And let it stay for a week. Just to make sure that it's strong enough to be taken out in the communities. Right, so now from here we are going to show you how we prepare the sand and the installation of the filter. Okay, this is our sand sieving section here. So we have the raw material that we buy from Luansha here in Zambia. So the raw material looks like this 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 section here that I've just separated. And you can see there are a lot of sizes in our raw material. There are stones and big stones, small stones and all different sizes in here. So we get this raw material and then run it through our machines here, our two sand sorter machines. To send this material, we push up our machine, we on the other side. The bigger part, the bigger parts of this material goes through through the the top the top screen there. If I'm aware, I'm curious. Yeah, let's put up our mulu, our machine, we can start filming a concert. And what we want goes through the inside screens and goes down out through the, the two outlets that we have there. And what, out, what comes out from this raw material here is something that looks like this here. You can see they are it's very fine. There's a big difference between the two. And then we collect this material using a, a sack. They really work good in the, in the biosand filters. So from here, I'll just, just talk about some of the things that goes into the biosand filters in order for the biosand filter to work effectively. Okay. 
All right, so here we just want to show, to show some of the things that goes into the filter and the things that make the filter work more effectively. Hello, Nomba. Pano Panchen, the Tola Milanga ko a fin to fimo, a fin gram filter, or whatever the filter, a bombe, if tun to win. So the Balsan filter has a tube right here. Uh, Balsan filter in a quatako, a camu pipe upper. And the tube goes goes through the concrete and down there and goes out right on the bottom of the bells and filter. A kaka mpipe, a kakala pita, pakati pari konkiri, erokaisa, fumina punch pari filter mukati. So you can only mm. see the pipe when you look right inside the filter on the bottom. Kuti mwa mwana fi a kaka mpipe, idiolo mwa lenge lafe mukati muli filter. And here, on Ero, the outlet. Na, kun, na kunsi oku. Because... All this, all this, all, all this part here, the, the, the pipe goes through the concrete. It's in between the concrete. It's shown such a pipe, capital, pakati, capital, can a cover for pakati, cement. And the pipe and the tube helps us, helps us to correct filtered water. A cacam pipe, can a catua foolish a cock send a main she, I So we also have the 12 millimeter stones. Not quite a cavity a mabwe, I had to acquire twelve millimeter stones. So these stones mm. helps us protect the pipe. I am away, you have to have finished a coaching in the camp pipe. So these stones are, are big enough not to go inside the tube. I am away, ya calam babuino, I have covered thirty apite mukam pipe. So the stone, the, the, the twelve millimeter stones goes right on the bottom of the field. I am a I'm a world to talk about 12 millimeter. Yeah, I have a punch here in a party field. And they occupy a space of five centimeters from the bottom of the filter up. Hello, yeah, color in a occurring an HP moisture five centimeters. The second layer that goes into the filter is the six millimeter gravel or stones. Now, I conquer for you to occur at the six millimeter stones. This is sometimes called the separation gravel. So this gravel helps us separate the big rocks from the sand. Because what we don't want is the sand to get mixed with the big rocks. Because if it does, the, the, the sand will find its way through the pipe and it will, it will block it. And the third layer, which is the most important one, is the sand. So this sand is, is we got this sand from the rock, like you saw our 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 low material there when we are screen, we are seeing the sand. Omuyomuchanga to funya kuiriwe. So the, the bigger stones and the small stones only occupy five centimeters each of space. But the sand gets the large part because it is the filtration sand. So we may say it is the engine of the, of the filter. So from there we have the diffuser basin here. So this basin has walls on it. So this basin only helps us to reduce the pressure of water going on top of the sand. If we pour water into the filter without the basin, the flow of water will disturb the sand right inside the filter. So this is the basin, the diffuser basin, that helps us, helps us reduce the pressure of water going on the sand. So the best, we put the basin like this. So the basin is 
So if we pour water inside the filter without the basin, the water will disturb the top of the sun. Hence disturbing the effectiveness of the biosand filter. And then on top of that we have the lead here. So the lead and the basin they are, they are, they are made of galvanized metal. So they cannot get they cannot have last. So the filter has four ways in which uh, it gets rid of the pathogens, rather the germs. The first way is the mechanical trapping. This is one way of which the bigger particles or the, the bigger germs, the bacteria get trapped right on top of the sun. They can't go through the sandy particles because the sand is prepared and sieved in such a way that these big big germs or bacteria will not go through it. The second way is called the natural death. Because there is there is a huge amount of sand inside the filter. The bacteria complete their life cycle right even before they reach the bottom. There is not enough air for them inside the box there. And there is no food for them to eat right inside there. So they will die off. The other way is called adsorption. So this way is where the, the pathogens get attached to each, to, to, to each other right inside the filter. And get attached to the sand grains. And the last way is the, 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 the predation part. And this is the way where the, 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 the big microbes or the big bacteria feed on the small ones. To start with, the, 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 the bigger bacteria that gets trapped on top of the sand, those, those bacteria mm. feed on the other small bacteria like the viruses and, the, and, and just the bacteria. Now what happens is that there is, there, is, there, is, there is an amount of water left right on top of the sand when you install the filter. And that amount of water is, is only up to 5 centimeters. And that 5 centimeter water above the sand allows the the oxygen to go through and 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 and, and makes the, the 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 bacteria that was trapped to breathe na na yamishi yasuminishi afi omwela okupita no kulenga afi ototshishi otuikala otuikatwa pamulu okupema nangokuba no mwewa these bacteria that get trapped will not die of lack of oxygen because they have they have oxygen to breathe with ototshishi otuikatwa pamulu so now they have something they have air and now they don't have something to eat. What will happen is they will feed on the other, the small pathogens that are coming in. So they will 
lelo tatukwe tiefi ya kuria naomba tu alambo kuria tushishi twine tulio tunono tule shala na tuena pamulu and that layer yeah. that is the, the layer that is formed on top of the sun the layer of those big bacteria big big big, uh, big microbes is called the bio layer the biological layer ne chendewe ishala po i samukupangi kwa no totu ino tshishu tshisa mukwe kala pamuru vaitokwe vati biological layer and the biological layer is usually formed uh, is usually formed between 3 to 4 weeks ne biological layer vale sosa i safe mukupangi kwa fe mumilungu shitatu na ngwe shiri 4 and the filter by then the filter gets rid of about 98% of germs Na fiuta yesu hii, ilesa nomba muku bomba, okufunya ko tushishu, kufika kuchipimo cha kwewa kuti 98%. So the, 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 the fiuta is what we call the floor rate. Uh, fiuta yesu, ya kwa tiyo tucho tuito kwa wati floor rate. So the floor rate should be 300 mils to 400 mils per minute. Ichipimo cha mifumine ya meishi, chena tupimo kufika kuli 300 na 400 mils. And we have distributed, and we have distributed over nine thousand filters in different communities. Rato tuwalisalanga, tuwalisalanga ni okuchila muri nine thousand ama filters mu munche ndesha le kana le kana mumishi. That is millions of 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 people having safe water to drink using the bio sand filters. Eku mukuti rokwa ti na tukwata emiyo okuchila pama million na ma million yaba le yaba kwe tia mumishi ayatunturu. Thank you. To Atasha.